well. I worked for the Queenston Hydroelectric System for 16 and a half years as secretary treasurer, and Cliff read the meters. And he did this on a Saturday or a week, uh, or in the evening, in the summer. And he had one little house that he had to visit. And he had to go into the bathroom, into the tub, and pull down the steps to the attic and climb the stairs to read the meter. And of course, he read the meters on Saturday, and invariably, the man would be having a bath <laughs> every Saturday when Cliff went. But anyhow, he would wait. But that's one of the th many things that happened. Mm -hmm. But I thought that was cute. Well, I was secretary treasurer, so that meant I sent all the bills out, made them by hand, and uh, would collect the money at Young's, who was the local grocer, and then I'd take the money to the bank. Um, and I often had to sell water tanks. I would visit people and uh, sell the water tanks. And I'd just like to tell you that the hydro was started here in the early 20s, and we finally had to give it up in the end of 1979. Uh, Ontario Hydro told us that they were trying to do away with the little hydros. That we had to go with Niagara and the Lake, not not the Niagara and the Lake now, but just the town of Niagara and the Lake. But uh, the hydro was uh, it was very interesting. I wrote the bills on the coffee table, the kitchen table, or wherever I could, and the kids would help uh, put stamps on, staple them together, and we we did it as a family.